Good afternoon, Zachary Field. This is Father John. Very happy to be with you. Um, we are going to continue our daily reflections here for our school. And to do these, I'm going to be going around the entire school. Although you all can't come to school, the school can come to you. And it can come to you through the uh, venue of technology. And right now, I am in one of the classrooms in our school. Does anybody know where I might be? Hmm. Hmm. I'll give you some names that might help. Uh, Sam and Teddy and Paul and Piper and Nathan and Nathaniel and Molly and Molly and Leo and Lily and Luca and so many others. You're right. I'm in kindergarten. And why am I in kindergarten today? Well, I'm in kindergarten for a very specific reason is because this is where a lot of our journeys begin here at St. Raphael. Some of us go to the preschool uh, and have some very great times there with Miss Chris and Miss Molly, uh, but then some of us start off here in kindergarten, the first real grade in the day school or the big kids school that, uh, that uh, we get to spend. We love what our preschoolers get to do. We love having them with us, but they're looking forward to this year, kindergarten, the beginning and maybe we could think back to kindergarten and think back to how it was on that first day of kindergarten. Maybe we were, we were excited. We finally got to go to school and that's just such an exciting thing. Maybe we were scared. Maybe we were nervous. Maybe we didn't know what to think. We didn't want to leave home. We could have felt many different things. And when we got word that we were going to start having uh, classes online, maybe we felt some of those same things. Excited, nervous, scared, sad, all those different things that we felt. But here's the thing, is that through it all and through all those different feelings, our God is there and God continues to provide for us. And that's something that the opening prayer for Mass today uh, reminds us. The opening prayer says, O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. So this time, this time that we are online and we are learning through uh, our, our Chromebooks and through handouts at home, this is a time that God has seen, not just since uh, we got the word, or maybe a day before God, or a day before we got the word, but it's something that God has thought of for thousands of years. Actually, since the beginning of time, God has been thinking about this time and thinking about all the gifts, all the blessings, and all the treasures that we are going to need to be able to continue to learn and be a school community and to continue to grow during this time. And that, that is God's plan right now. God's plan is one that you're not here in school, but that you're instead learning in your homes, that we're doing this e-learning type of thing. God is going to continue to help. And maybe that help is going to come now through our parents, or maybe through an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent, or maybe somebody else in our class who maybe I can help us out with our work a little bit. Maybe it is through getting closer to our teacher online or reaching out in some other way. But God wants to continue to help us at this time. And the biggest thing on this first day is to help us with how we feel. How do we feel about this first day, this first day of e-learning? Or maybe some people are thinking homeschooling, whatever we want to call this time. How do we feel about this time? Have we taken time to talk to God about it? Have we taken time to talk to somebody about how I feel about this time? Do I know that God is still here in this place and that God is going to still help me even at home? God is going to help me to continue to learn. This is something that God has been, been preparing for many thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Actually, since before time began, God has been preparing for this moment. We've been preparing for a little bit shorter of a time, but God will still provide. Let us invite God into this time, knowing that he will give us what we need. What do we need to ask God for today? And make room for God to give that to us. Amen.